How's it going everyone? It's your boy Daniel Rodriguez here, aka Big D. It's time to review a new FX show brought to you by none other than Kurt Sutter, aka the creator of Sons of Anarchy. Overall, it's a good show. It's not a great show, but it's a good show. And, well, Kurt Sutter's back with a medieval adventure, the bastard executioner. This is my spoiler review. For season one, episode one and two, pilot. <sighs> okay, I was iffy on seeing this show. I was like, "Well, it's Kurt Sutter." I don't know the reason not it's Kurt Sutter. Medieval. Stephen Moyer. Yeah. Might as well give it a try. Two-hour premiere. Two-hour premiere. No wonder it didn't do good in ratings. You have made it two hours. Don't do that again. Don't do that again. I'm not going to stay two hours to watch a, a show that I might not even watch again. So please, don't do that. Just don't. Here we go. Master Executioner. It should take me less than five minutes to recap the episode. Give you my pros and cons of Final Score. I'm going to try to rush through the, through the plot. Give you the pros and cons. This is a personal opinion review. So if you're a Kurt Sutter fan and you're very biased about Sons of Anarchy, and I do love my Sons of Anarchy, but if you're a huge fan and you're a big Kurt Sutter supporter and you don't like what I'm about to say about Kurt frickin' Sutter and Cage Seagal, well, you better be careful, Game of Thrones fans. Winter is coming. Ah, uh, see, see, see. Anyway, let's get right to this, actually. It's a good... There's good stuff and there's bad stuff. A lot of bad stuff, but let's get to this. I'm going to recap it. Here we go. Here we go. I try to make it as sensible. Sensible. Woken is in battle. He is stabbed. He's with his wife. They have sex. Well, well no, not, not like... Well, he's not having sex with his wife. There's, there's a sex scene. Uh, the Baron. And the Baron is taking a shit. Five minutes in and there's already somebody taking a shit. I'm like, yeah, that's Kurt Sutter. That's Kurt Sutter's writing right there. And the guy's getting the No, I'm not saying he's writing shit. I'm saying, like, yeah, of course there's someone taking this shit. Wow. Wow. It has to be that gross. And he went, yeah, and he's, he, this guy's wiping his ass. Like, okay, yeah, you're the Baron. You, you don't need to wipe your ass, of course. So the guy is in uh, love with a sheep. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Oh, he's my lovely, my sheep, lovely, my sheep. And it's a guy from Galavan. Oh my gosh, it's the cook from Galavan. I'm like, yeah, of course, medieval there, medieval here, because all you could do is just get a medieval job. Yeah, sure. Anyway, uh, the witch has spices, and then there's this Punisher who's really mean to his kid, and he's like, stupid and weak, like very much like that, and he's torture, and this priest are talking about Genesis, and the Baron's like, yeah, I'd like to hear it. Baron, we have to go. Why would you say if you have to hear it, if you have to go? Oh my god, why? Anyway, the Baroness dips in water, and she, two seconds later, the girl's like, Miss? Oh no. Calm down, she just dipped in the water. I hate when she does that. She, she's not going to die. It's only been ten seconds. Calm yourselves, okay? Maybe cold water, but should I let her refresh. Yeah. Wilkin takes off. Wilkin and Co. His team take out a group. There's a flashback where the Baron is in the battlefield and Wilkin is hiding. Forgive me. Baron and Co. go after this man and they find this village and they massacre. They slit this little boy's throat and they end up killing everyone. They set fires aflame. Wilkin's wife it runs. She is spared and then she is killed. They discover the bodies the next day. He gets the sword out. He literally goes like, No. No. Oh, no. Run to the cabin. Of course it didn't burn in flames like all the others. Dig. 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 Yeah, I'm a digger. Here's the sword. Huh. Let me run and show off that I have a cool sword in front of the new pals, my new friends. Huh. Like, I couldn't have opened the sword right there in the, in the cabin. Whatever. Run out. Oh, I got a sword. Huh. Throw it on the floor. Yeah, unveil it. Ah, like, oh, why did you have to, why did you run like, oh yeah, I got a sword, guys. Ah, like, why can't you just open it in the cabin? 
what was the point of bringing it out? Are you showing off to everyone? Look at my sword. It's bigger than yours. I'm just saying, honestly. So he rides, they ride to the castle. The Punisher is burning himself. He's like, hmm, like all like that. And the Baron is traveling and he's going to the fight. So he gets the Punisher guy. He's like, come on, hop on, mate. Come on, mate. You get in here, mate. Anyway, so there's a massive fight, and none other than Matthew Rice or Reese. Matthew Reese is in here, A.K.A. Philip from the Americans, and I was like, oh dear, oh my fangirl's coming out. Oh yes, like literally, he was like, rah, 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 rah. and I was like, yeah. I didn't notice him until after a while. I was like, that's the Americans. Wow, he made a cameo. I was like. Is that Philip in the 1400s being all undercover for the Soviet Union that's not even formed yet? Okay. So there's an ambush and a lot of deaths. The Baron is killed. Uh, the Punisher is killed. This little kid stabs him in the throat and he's like... Mm -hmm. And then the Baron is like... He's all alone and he's like... You think you're going to whip? Like... Bloody, like as always, Kurt Sutter. Uh, the witch puts a cross, a uh, scar on Wilkin, uh, because the Punisher guy had a had a cross thing on him, so to make it look like that's him. Matthew Rise again cameo. The chairman is gay, which is Stephen Moyer, of course. He's and nothing against gays. I'm just saying his character's gay, and he was like fucking this guy, and he's like, what is it? Like another sex scene because it's Kurt Sutter. Does every show have to have a sex? And nothing wrong with sex. Nothing wrong with that, ladies and gentlemen. But every Kurt Sutter thing has to have sex. Every ten minutes something has to be sex scene or you know, ah, or nudity. There's literally an opening scene in a battlefield and a girl's butt is shown. It's like, what? Really? Is it necessary? So yeah, they take the life of another, he's, he's supposed to take the life of another man, he uh, lets the witch go, they go into the castle and he delivers the body of the Baron, punish it by train. And the guy who uh, left, he le left the battlefield when they were getting ambushed earlier, he calls him out, he's like, that's the man who was there. And the wife kid goes to him. The Punisher, the one where, not like the Punisher Frank Castle, but the Punisher where he was like, <laughs> That kid and wife and the one that was being abused, they go up to the Woken and they're like, she goes along with him being the, the husband and everything. And the man is to be executed. That's where he's like, welcome, executioner. That goes down. So he talks to the Baroness and the chairman will keep them there. Uh, witch is killed. Woken's, oh, the witch killed Woken's wife because she has the blade. Uh common sense, either him, her, or Kurt Sutter's character, who was like the, the, the deaf mute guy, whatever, and I'm like, yeah, of course he's going to play a mute character. So he's like, like, why can't you just play a regular guy, Sutter? Why does that have to be some weird guy? But whatever. Uh, other than that, they're about to begin the execution. He sees his wife. He has a big old thing, smoking that marijuana. And then he decapitates the guy. He's like, Oh, the two hours were over. Oh no, I wanted more. Oh gosh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm sorry if I'm pissing any of you off. I'm just trying to. <laughs> you know, I'm just telling you how I feel. Okay. I just want. We're all. We all love TV. I'm assuming. Right. Let's talk one on one here. Let's have a talk. Let's Vince Vaughn it. Let's have a talk here. Here are my pros. Here are my cons. No, okay, here are my pros for real. The ending of episode two. I will say episode two is better. Episode two is way better. So the ending where he decapitates him... The, 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 the ending where he decapitates him is a perfect ending. Uh, Baron, dude, the Baron, they killed off that actor, and he was in The Last Ship, and he's in many other shows. When he's saying that Yankee ship, and he talks like this, the Baron himself was pretty damn interesting, and I'm sad that they killed him off, but then again, the Baron, his acting and his skills and the way that he did things, even though he wasn't really the smartest, he was really cool. Matthew Rice, or Reese's cameo? Oh, 
yeah, working on Sunday. Uh, the actual Punisher guy, you know, stupid and weak. Him, he was very interesting. I thought he would live a little bit longer, but he was very weird, very torturous, very ugly, and very mean. I loved it. Uh, some shots were cool, like when the village was burning and they were looking like that. That was really cool. Uh, the massacre was bloody. A lot of bloodiness in here. I like that and a lot of massacre. Uh, medieval. Medieval time. I really do enjoy that. I enjoy that period. I, I, I do love the medieval time as always. But then again, it is kind of annoying because Kate Sutter is making it. And then again, there's this guy who likes to fuck sheep. So it's really just... Ew. Uh, and Stephen Moyer, I don't like his character per se, because he's a bad guy, and you know he's going to die by the end of the season, most likely. But then again, Stephen Moyer. It's okay. All I need to say. It's okay. Anyway, the cons now. It's slow. Very slow. The first episode, a little bit of the second episode, very slow. There's boring scenes in the first episode, very boring. I wanted to fall asleep. When you make a show and it's the pilot and you want people to watch your show, you probably shouldn't open up with a naked woman on the battlefield and this dragon coming out of a man's skull and horribly affected. What are we? Is that that grammar person from Jurassic Park? Whatever, that, that jumping weird effect thing? Like, what is that? I mean, really, what was the dragon? Really, It was horribly, like, computerized. Like, really? <sighs> it's a bad pilot. Uh, I'm talking about the first episode. It was really bad. Uh, weird action. Like, the arrow was just like... And, like, a bunch of blood came out of him. Like... Like... What? Oh, shoot a bunch of arrows! Ah, uh, no! Like, I've never been in medieval battle. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure that's not just how it went. Like, oh, I am dead. You know, just oh, okay. Uh, the intro. I, I hate the intro. I know this has nothing to do with the episode, but the intro, the when Ed Sheeran singing, and it's all CGI. Sons of Anarchy had a better intro than that. Ah. The camera work in here, it's so shaky. The camera's like... Ah, there's no there's no such need for all this nudity. Honestly, there's not such... There's no need for all this nudity. The main guy, Lee Jones, whatever. He's not bad. But I just don't see him as the main character. I just, I don't know I could put 13 episodes or 10 episodes with this guy. I don't know. Hopefully he gets better. The group, the group that he was in, they all look stupid. Like, there was this fat guy with a beard and like, yeah, what's this? Like, oh God. The group looks so weak and fake. Ew. Katie Seagal and Kurt Sutter, their characters. Katie Seagal... I love Katie Seagal, but then again, her accent in here, her accent is stupid, it's kind of really fake. And then again, Kurt Sutter's character is, eh. And of course, since they're married in real life, they have to be partners in the movie or the show, aren't they? Ha ha ha. Overall, I'm going to give the bastard executioner a B minus, secondarily a solid C. It's an okay pilot overall. Let me tell you why. The second episode was good. The first episode was a part of shit. The action, like the massacre and everything, oh yeah, that, that. It took 40 minutes to get good. And that 40 minutes before was just gross. I wasted 40 minutes of my life, Sutter. I, I, love, Kurt, I, I love Kurt Sutter's work, yes. I, I don't want to be biased. If I was biased, I would say it's a great show. It's a great... Oh, watch it. It's a great show. I'm biased. Yeah, like, I'm biased. I like this show. I'm going to be honest. I want it to be great. I, I, I... That's why... It's just bad. It's a really bad show. Ugh. 
Oh, God. The bastard executioner. Jesus. It doesn't even sound appealing, really. It, it was... Uh, the second episode was good. The pilot was okay. Overall, it's just an okay pilot. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about the bastard executioner. Hate me if you will. Love me if you will. I'll see you all next Tuesday for the... I have to say the... The third episode of the Bastard Executioner. And God save Mossa. Until next time. Spock be with you always. I'm putting my, my health before y'all to get you this beautiful news. Yeah, yeah. Bastard.